The pieces are printed on metal, which is kind of my favorite way to display pretty much any photo. So this here is our little Jack Russell. Amazing detail around the face, really vivid color. The blacks are solid, uh, just great dimension. I just, I love these pieces so much. Well, I've always been really obsessed, so to say, with capturing animals in action. I love the challenge of creating a crisp, in-focus, well-composed image of something that is small and moving at, you know, 40 kilometers an hour. My name is Jessica Bell. I am an animal photographer. None of this was planned. Basically, when I brought home a eight-week-old ball of fluff, she was a whirling dervish of teeth and energy and the only way that I think I was able to kind of calm her down and channel that energy was through training. Good girl. Cohen has her own Facebook page. Years ago, one of my friends online suggested that I create a Facebook page for my dog and I took her up on the suggestion and I started posting photos, taking more photos, taking more photos to post more photos. And I learned a lot about photography along the way. And one thing begat another, and pretty soon I became pretty adept at capturing photos of my own dog. And I wanted to challenge myself to capture photos of other people's dogs and other people's animals. I think she's got about 20,000 on her Facebook page, but I've let that fall by the wayside. My Colored powder photos have really taken off in recent months. Um, I guess they went viral around the start of the year, which got a lot of people's eyes on my work and really sort of catapulted me into public realm, I suppose. I find that when I introduce powder into the mix, it really just sort of acts as an action amplification device. So it really just kicks things up on another notch. You get to feel the movement of the animal despite the image being, you know, a millisecond of time. The powder that I use is non-toxic, and I'm very particular about the way that we use it around animals. Keep it away from their heads and eyes. We don't want them inhaling it or, or anything like that because it's uncomfortable, and the comfort and safety of the animals is always paramount. Image stay. Behind stay. I mean, there's the challenge of it. It's capturing a split second in time and I'm seeing things in my photos that you would never see in real life or in real time, I suppose I should say. There's the relationship that comes out in the photos between the dog and its owner. Um, you can just see these relationships just blossom and you can really see the love that they have for each other in these photographs. And I just love capturing that and giving it as much of an artistic flair as possible. And I want to create pieces that are going to be remembered long after our dogs are gone. <laughs> Photography is not my full-time gig. I do it on the side and I'm not too sure where I find the hours in the day to manage this business as well as the rest of my life. I have another job where I work as a legal assistant and I also have a husband and a two and a half year old daughter who pretty much monopolizes all of her waking moments when she's at home. It's beautiful to sort of see the relationship between a little girl and her dog. As my daughter gets older, she becomes more and more interested in Cohen. Every morning before we leave and bring her to daycare, she goes and she pats Cohen on the head and she says, good girl, Cohen, and then toddles out the door. Each discipline in photography has its own sort of tips and tricks and ways to approach them. I learn best through hands-on learning. Before I had my daughter, I had no idea how to photograph a child. <laughs> I'm learning as I go, and uh, just like Cohen was my guinea pig for learning how to photograph dogs, my daughter is my guinea pig for learning how to photograph people. Yeah, I just, I love challenging myself to continue growing and continue learning. I love meeting new people. I love meeting their animals. I love creating these 
images that are going to be cherished long after this 